We are in Wellington, New Zealand. He's carrying my umbrella, my coffee, and her mocha. And my mocha. There are purposes to having husbands. And he's cute. This says, if you lived here, you'd be home by now. Looking good. Nice stroke. Let's go spy on them. I want to spy on the one. I think it's going to be like when Geraldo uncovered the vault of Al Capone. Oh, it's a guy. Hello. What are you working on? Oh, I'm just we're, filming we're, you. We're think, we're just looking we thought we're, we didn't know we were we're, we're, we're from the other side of the world, so everything you do is interesting to us. Let's ask this guy what he's reading. Do you dare me? No, I'm going to. What are you reading? What are you reading? Just a book of oh. Wow. Are you a firefighter? So what's he reading? He's reading a book about Ground Zero, about rescuing. Archimedes, and oh, he had a moment in history Hello. when he jumped out of a bathtub and went here in car because it was to do with the balance of water when you, your body weight and water are the same you know, balance. Hey, so they were keen on having a couple of nudists do it, and we thought that it was quite cool. We had to run over nude in the wharf of Wellington to you know, jump in the sea on a nice summer's day. And your name is? Oh, these are the two small ones, it's Mike and Sunny. Yep, I'm Marty and I'm afraid I'm not doing the nerd. Sunny. And, and Sunny? And and what's your name? I'm Mighty. Mighty. Just some naked guys in a bath. Of course. <laughs> I mean, what else? Yeah. <laughs> you do look very cozy. It's really warm, it's a nice warm bath. filming, yes? We are in a tunnel in New Zealand. This tunnel goes all the way through New Zealand. We could have seen this at home. But when we come out the other side, it's going to be magical. They have graffiti in New Zealand. And Fobo Strait, which you sailed through last night, those straits were named as some of the roughest waterways by Captain Cook back in 17. They have trees in New Zealand. They were so rough that you can approach them. You decided not to go through the air. It's very shallow, it's quite rough. It's a mighty rainforest and massive mountains are all accessed by this highway. It's about to get really good. I just know it. It's about to get really good. It's about to get really good. See as we can see around this embankment. Oh, backyards. So awesome. 
Now in New Zealand, they have sheep. No longer. I don't know if you've heard that, but and if we look away through beyond the trees to our left and above the town of Mosgill, if you look at that hillside there, you'll see a definite horse's saddle outlined there. Oh, you under a tree. Have a beer or glass of wine at lunchtime, it'll become more obvious to you. I invite you to use the viewing areas on the train. And most of the carriages have a viewing area. Two viewing areas on the end of each. Three cars that don't. Three will tell you which one they are. You can stand out there and take a video or a photograph, of course, no smoking. And do not stand on the gray gate. Can we go to the viewing area? Not just now. Okay, viewing area. Where do I go? Come out of that first tunnel, you'll see our countryside has changed quite dramatically. Ronnie, you're telling me to have my camera ready when we come out of the tunnel. Is it going to get really pretty when we come out of the tunnel? So. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going over this big viaduct, and then if you look back, uh, you see. Yeah. This is it. Here we go. Video opportunities on your left hand side. Oh, that is majestic. And of course, we do come back this way so you see it again. There it is. See all the flashlights going off down the front, so you guys are on to it? Of course we are. We are in New Zealand. Everything you see before you is New Zealand. It's not something you see from America. 